I did a really fun, cheapy little haul a while back um, from a couple of places. One is uh, called My Origins, that's a French website. Um, and one is the Bonbons M Malaysia and that was from makeup uk but i that's also a european site there are these are actually um these are all perfumes that are basically the french and italian versions of kind of kids perfumes or like really easy kind of light perfumes that you get in like um pharmacies and like shop you know little shops you know they're, they're not like high-end ones they're little cheapies that you can get in like you can probably get them in supermarkets and stuff I imagine um but yeah so I just thought it'd be fun the main reason being that um it's kind of like these are the two that I really wanted to smell and I just kind of got a couple of others I actually wanted the caramel one from this because the uh, reviews of it are really good but um they I ordered it and then they didn't have any in stock so they had to refund me so I never got that but anyway so the Bon Bon Malaysia these are supposed to be for children they're eau de toilettes they're super cheap um, um I, I'm not sure how much is I think they're 50 mils I think they're 50, yes they are I should have looked at the back 50 mils so this first one Mercy Love um these are this isn't on um fragrantica neither is this one they do have a bonbons called milkshake which is on there which i don't know if this is just like a repackaged version of that but either way they don't have this one on there now the reason i thought i'd try this one is because there's little blueberries on the front and i was like okay i'd been looking for a blueberry perfume so i went and had a look at the makeup uk site and this is described as uh, top note blueberry heart note milk base note berries so not particularly helpful but it said on the actual malaysia website or was it the malaysia anyway a, a website where they're talking about this perfume um it says blueberries mixed up into an ice cream so i was really hoping this one would be creamy and ice creamy but to be honest it isn't it's um let's have a smell it's cute though um it's berry-y um, I think I might have guessed it's blueberry but it kind of smells like blueberry and raspberry mashed together on like a kind of lollipop you know it's sweet it's super cute I think it's really pretty um, I don't get a sense of the milk I don't get a sense of that creaminess and it kind of starts it's a little tiny bit shampooy not massively shampooy but a little bit and the longer it dries down, the more it kind of gets a bit of a shampooy vibe. It's a little bit of a shame that it doesn't have a creaminess to it because I think this could have been awesome. Um, it is still great. It's just that I have um, the Demeter blueberry, which is very, very sweet and kind of smells like a blueberry muffin. And this one's a little bit, it's a little bit sharper and more shampooy. And so I probably don't need to keep this one, but it's super cute. I, I mean, I would highly recommend it if you just want something that's got like a blueberry, raspberry kind of light and fruity smell. That's really easy. Yeah, it's super cute. Um, it's just not quite what I was expecting because I was hoping it was going to be a bit more milky. And then this one, I just took a chance on this because um, vanilla perfumes, if it's a custardy vanilla, I'm, I'll probably be into it. If it's a perfumey vanilla, like something like Vanilla Fields, you know, like that Cody perfume, I'm not going to like it. And I really don't like this one very much. No, it's got that kind of perfumey vanilla in it that I don't enjoy. Mm. So this is French. Um, it says so on the bottle this is Le Petit Plaisir um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right apologies to any French speakers this is Vanille Gourmand this is an eau de toilette I think these are really quite hefty bottles yeah 110 mil so they're very cheap um, but, well I mean it depends where you get them from I think if you buy them in France they're like maybe 6 or 7 euros or something yeah, this has a, the kind of vanilla and caramel smell in it that I don't enjoy. But I think if you kind of like pink sugary type things, if you like the more old school vanilla -y, uh, like perfumey vanilla and perfumey caramel, then this might be right up your street. Because I can see that it's pretty. It's just not my kind of vanilla and it's not my kind of caramel. So the notes in this are... Mmm... 
Okay. Top notes, strawberry and rose. Uh, middle notes of almond and caramel. Base notes of vanilla and musks. So I definitely get caramel. Definitely get vanilla. I definitely get strawberry and rose. That might be one of the things that's flowing me, throwing me off as well. I really struggle with strawberry in perfumes unless it literally smells like a milkshake. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I just I find it a bit sickly in perfumes. Uh, the note of strawberry. But yeah, okay, yeah. It's like a strawberry jam, a strawberry and rose jam, with a kind of a slightly biscuity almond and a caramel and vanilla base but they're, it's quite a perfumey caramel and vanilla but I think other people would find this quite gourmand it's just not my it, it's just not for me um I'm just not mad for that one but super cute like I think whoever I pass that on to, to will be super happy with it I'm just super fussy about vanilla and I'm really fussy about caramel so this is the one I was excited about though vanilla macaron um and this one is definitely pretty yummy i do love my, i love violet perfumes i think they're gorgeous um i really like that as a note and this is very pretty okay so i've actually already tried to wear this if you watch all my videos then you will have seen this one before because i tried to wear it to work i think on one morning and then i realized quite quickly that this is very much an indoor scent for me it's not like an outdoor scent because it could be a little bit sickly but it's also quite bright. It's lovely. It's it. You can definitely tell there's violet in it, but it also it kind of tastes very much like an edible violet. So the notes here, and um, once I've actually got the proper notes from the Le Petit Plaisir, um, once I've got the notes from here, it makes more sense as to why it became a little bit sickly to me, because the top notes are Morello cherry and rose so that morello cherry is actually quite noticeable now i know it's there i'm like oh that's what that smell is <laughs> that's the thing that i think i'm struggling a little bit with to wear um if i'm actually trying to put quite a lot on and wear it out of the house i think this is for me much more of like one of my demeters where i might just put it on like quite lightly for a couple of hours and really enjoy it i don't think this is like outside of the house going to work like it's not it's not a serious kind of perfume to me it's just a little bit too too much like a boiled sweet if you know what I mean but I definitely do get that vanilla um that violet even so it's got morello cherry and rose in the top the mid notes are well violet and the base notes are almond and vanilla so it does smell it smells like I think I said it smells like, if you can imagine, like a macaron with raspberry jam in it. But actually, <laughs> now I know, I'm like, oh, yes, that's exactly what it is. It's like a macaron with cherry jam inside. So you have that, you've got that almondiness and that sweet kind of sugariness that you get from a macaron. But joyously, you don't have the kind of savoury biscuity smell of like a literal macaron. This is not a literal macaron. This one smells more like a literal one to me. Um, it's got much more of a literal macaron kind of smell. This one, not so much. It's much easier on my nose than that kind of literal macaron smell. But yeah, the cherry is, is very noticeable. It's like cherry and violet, but like in terms of cherry and violet scents, if I'm going to wear them out, I'm going to wear Lolita Lempica Mon Premier um, because that is violet, anise, licorice and um, a lot of cherry. And it's the cherry, the kind of cherry you get in the Lolita Lempica suite. So I just love that perfume. This is very much just a light and kind of easy perfume. It's super cute. I might keep this one. I haven't quite decided whether I might just like um, put these in a bundle and pass them on just because I do love that Lolita Lempica one so much. It's like way more complicated than this. This is much uh, like kind of easier, lighter perfume. But anyway, so <laughs> um, the last one on the list is Bonbons Malaysia uh, Milk Cake. So... I, I really wanted the milkshake one, but they don't make it anymore. So again, I'm not sure if this is just the repackaged the same scent or, you know, whether this is slightly different. So another little 50 mil. Oh, I can already smell it. Super cute. This is... <sighs> it's not literal. It does smell sweet 
and, Go- and Milky and Gourmand. But there's also something very slightly floral about this one. So the only thing it says on the website is milk, vanilla and sugar. Mm. It has a slight caramelly, like a like a slight or like toffee smell about this. But the only reason I'm saying it's slightly floral is I was comparing this one to the um I basically I got a whole bunch of um samples for Christmas of the I think it's called Showbird. Showbird? Showbird? Um I I don't know how to pronounce the house. I would have to check it if I'm when I'm actually gonna make that review. But I got all of their Leda, like so their milk perfumes. So like Leda Biscuit, Leda Caramel, like um Leda Lay, I can't I can't remember. There's like uh, there was four of them. And a lot of them just smell kind of a bit like this, but they're very expensive. Um so I got this one out to compare and then I thought to myself, ah, those are more literal than this. This has a slight perfuminess to it that has a kind of suggestion of flowers, but only when compared to something that's very, very literally gourmand. Um, and it does, it smells like a very subtle toffee and like a creamy, milky vanilla. It's super cute. I think it would be really good for people who like very sweet scents and like to wear them to bed. That's exactly the kind of way I feel about this. It's a nice thing to chuck on after you've had a shower and you're just like being snuggly and you don't want to wear like a proper like hardcore perfume. You don't want something that's going to last like all night, you know. You just want something that's light, sweet, cuddly, comforting. Yeah, super cute. But yeah, it kind of it also kind of reminds me a tiny bit of my um Al Nuaim Choco Musk Oil and that one I always think has like a slight toffee smell to it so this is a little bit like that one yeah I think it's super cute it's really nice I would totally recommend I'd actually probably recommend all of these for like nice cheap little kind of pick-me-up perfumes um then I'm not sure any of them partic- this one I think smells the most grown up because it smells like the most perfumey if you see what I mean um but I think they're super cute and they were super super cheap they're just cheap and cheerful little little babes but they're all pretty gourmand and in their own way they're all pretty beautiful um so yeah, I uh, I hope that this was helpful to anyone who might be looking at these because they're not really something that turns up on YouTube very often. <laughs>